What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today is a good day because the sun is out. This is the McLaren 765 LT and it is probably the most extreme road going McLaren you can buy. It is based on the 720S. LT stands for long tail and it is the track version of the 720S but it is still very much a road car. So today I'm going to show you around this amazing car. We've got some Novatec goodies on this car as well and i want to start this review by thanking absolute motors in the netherlands who have very kindly allowed us to take out their 765 lt and who are also responsible for a couple of very cool details you can see on this car like the little orange pinstripe all around the car the novitec wheels the carbon bonnet and the carbon roof scoop this thing looks so freaking mean so I'm going to show you around it and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn that way for an Autobahn blast. Now the 765 LT is lighter, 80 kilos, stiffer and has 25% more downforce than the 720S. So it is the ultimate version of this platform. Of course we've got a carbon tub and it only weighs 1339 kilos this 765 lt and that is down to a couple of very important things compared to a 720s it's got a lighter windscreen it's got lighter glass polycarbonate at the rear we've got the senna seats which are super light normally it also has lighter wheels these Novitec wheels I don't know the weight of those and you also get a titanium exhaust now if that 80 kilos of weight saving is not enough for you you can also go to MSO and if you pay them 30,000 pounds you can get the door skins so the outer door shells and the rear bumper in carbon fiber as well which saves you another seven kilos <laughs> so uh, good luck with that so at the front we've got those super recognizable 720 lights of course but this front bumper is much more aggressive the car in general is 57 millimeters longer than a 720s but of course being a long tail most of that is at the rear 48 millimeters but that does mean that the rest is at the front very pronounced and aggressive little winglet on the side there and as i said we've got this super amazing carbon bonnet by Novitec or at least this part is added which does give the front a very very aggressive look that looks stunning hood scoop or roof scoop as well in carbon super nice air vents here in the front fenders as well to relieve pressure from the wheel wells and as I said we've got these Novitec wheels very 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 beautiful wheel actually does suit the car very well these front wheels are 20 inch and we've got wrapped around that michelin pilot sport 4s rubber as standard this car comes on pirelli trofeo r tires which is a very very aggressive tire uh, basically a semi-slick and behind that we've got carbon ceramic brakes now absolute motors have also painted these calipers in that matching orange the lt orange which is really cool and then those brake discs these brembos these calipers are from the mclaren senna and for fifteen thousand pounds you can also upgrade your brakes to the discs of the senna which are 60 percent stronger and they have better heat management and it takes seven months to make those discs uh, including three months in an oven being baked at a thousand degrees celsius now as i said that's a 15,000 euro or pound or whatever option but this car i believe has the club sport pro package because it also has the titanium roll cage and the harnesses so that also means that you get the upgraded brakes suspension wise they also fiddled with that so this car still has the cross-linked hydraulically cross-linked damper setup uh, but the suspension is a bit stiffer the ride height is lower the front track is wider and it has an additional helper spring a stiffer torsion bar and a quicker steering rack as well all to make the car even more aggressive than it already is we've got the big butterfly doors of course absolutely insane that is so cool even soft close and then at the rear beautiful carbon inlay here nice little extension there 
the winglets and we've got aluminium mesh here which is also lightweight lighter than on the 720s massive diffuser down there and also note all the orange accents which i do think give the car a very racy look titanium exhaust as you can see all blue inside and then we've got the engine down there you can see it if you look through here actually which is basically the 720s engine uh, with forged aluminium pistons the head gasket from the senna and it's got an upgraded fuel pump as well and that amounts to a total of 765 horsepower and 800 newton meter of course up from 720 horsepower in the 720s absolutely incredible performance 0 to 100 2.8 seconds 0 to 318 seconds which is insanely quick 3.4 seconds quicker than a 720s but this rear end is quite insane this has to be one of the most aggressive road cars you can buy right now it is so amazing i love the fact that you can actually see all that carbon through the mesh here at the rear and then you can see the gearbox seven speed dual clutch 21 inch wheels at the rear so one inch bigger than the front and then if we look inside we've got the senna seats so the super thin carbon shells and when we get in you can actually see the carbon tub here this is the carbon tub actually and this of course but you can see all that exposed carbon when you open the door which is amazing and uh, I am going to turn on the car immediately to cool the camera a bit. So on the inside we've got a lot of Alcantara. Uh, they have stripped as much as they can. So normally you have a little bit of storage space in the door here. Which has been replaced by this elastic thing. Which saves 800 grams of weight. So that is pretty die hard carbon center console here with a cup holder another one over there really good i don't know why supercars usually don't have cup holders this has two very good and then you can see the mso titanium bar there to mount the harnesses but we also have a regular seat belt which i really like and then the center console the center stack here uh, very simple with of course the controls for your powertrain and handling press that button powertrain in track and uh, handling in sport which is fine and of course the folding display now the most amazing thing about this car when you get in it is the seating position it, it it's like you get into a GT car like a GT3 or a GT4 car it you sit so low and upright the steering wheel is nice and close so you the seating position is very relaxed for a car that otherwise is not relaxed at all all right let's do the tunnel and then we have to go that way because as you can see they are working over there Is it open? I think it is. Ah. Horses are there, so we are not going to floor it. Okay. So driving a 765 LT, as I said, the seating position is similar to a race car and it just gives you so much confidence driving this car because your body is just relaxed. It, it doesn't have to brace itself because the seats, you just are captured in these seats with these high shoulders as well. And then your arms are nice and relaxed because the seating position is so freaking perfect all right so let's do a launch control we just stop the car hit the launch button down here left foot on the brake full throttle three thousand three and a half oh. <laughs> oh. that is pretty damn insane for a rear wheel drive car 
the traction is managed so well, I just have traction control on. And the way it gets off the line is so insane. We actually did a 2.70 to 100, which that is outrageously quick for a rear wheel drive car. Oh. The speed at which everything happens is so crazy. It's just accumulating speed at a very alarming rate. Oh, and it, it, it just gets quicker the higher up you go. So if you compare this to a Ferrari F8 Tributo, which we drove recently, that car has so much low end torque. It just, you just put your foot down and it, it goes. It is absolutely catapulted. This, I feel like gets much quicker. Is this guy getting out of the way for me? I think so. <laughs> what a legend. Okay, so for the Altaban, we are going to go handling comfort, I think, because this suspension is absolutely magical. I have to say that the combination between this, this chassis this tub, everything being so stiff, and then being able to soften those dampers is a pretty magical combination. But before we begin, I want to introduce to you the new feature of the Draggy GPS performance box. Now, you know the Draggy, we use it in our acceleration videos. We use it to do our acceleration measurements, as you can see, so the zero to 100, 100 to 200 quarter mile. Draggy has now introduced a new feature called Draggy Lab. You can download that app in the App Store and it introduces a lap timer using your existing Draggy. So it's not a new device, it's just a new app. And it's not as complicated as some of the competitors out there like a V-Box or like the system at a track. This is meant to just plug and play. Now, if you don't know how Draggy works, I'll show you quickly. This is the device and it basically utilizes a 10 Hertz GPS antenna. It has a Bluetooth connector and uh, a battery. That's basically it. This device connects to your phone, as you can see in our videos. Now for this new lap timer app, of course, that means that you can very accurately measure your way around a track. And something very convenient is that you can find nearby tracks. You just open the app and you look around basically and you see which tracks are available near you. You can check out which laps you have done there and your history at that track, uh, which is very cool. Now, the main two features of this app are the fact that you have predictive lap timing and a dual camera mode. So what that means is you just put your phone in a phone mount, you can film yourself and the way ahead. And you also have a Delta on screen, which means that you can see in green or in red, whether you're quicker or slower than your fastest or your previous lap, which is very, very nice. And we have actually tested this, as you can see on the Zandvoort GP track, the F1 track with the new Porsche Cayman GT4 RS. I was able to improve on my lap time quite dramatically and I could see myself you know, heading around two seconds below my fastest time when I crossed start finish. So that is amazing and it works really well. So once you have done a lap or a session, you can see that you can analyze your results. You can preview a lot of data about your lap. So the speed, the elevation, stuff like that are all available in the app. And you also have a revolutionary 3D view, which means that you can follow yourself around the lap, indicating the speed you were doing at that time. And you can see the different colors representing the different speed, uh, which I think looks absolutely amazing. And you can also share your session when you're done. And it indicates your session, uh, the amount of laps, the 
highest speed, the best time, the track you were on, stuff like that. So the result is a very, very sleek looking video with very interesting overlay. You can watch yourself driving, you can see the road ahead, you can see all the most important data, and I think it just looks amazing. And I'm really happy that Draggy added this feature to their app. So to celebrate the introduction of the new Draggy Lab app, if you want to buy a Draggy, again, you can use it as a performance measurement tool for zero to 100 quarter mile 100 to 200 and now as a lap timer as well uh, you can buy it in our store i'll give you a 10 euro discount if you use code gt4rs go check it out link is in the top right corner to go to our shop to buy one of these draggies super nice device so go check it out and enjoy the video bit of tire squeal there I don't know if you guys can see that in the mirror, which you can actually feel. But this thing is absolutely brutal above like five and a half thousand RPM. Breaking. Oh my lord, those brakes are incredible. Oh, McLaren. Man, oh man. It, it, it feels like a freaking rocket ship, this thing. The view out of the car is so amazing. You have that steering wheel in just the perfect position. car now I do feel like I have to address something because when I did the Ferrari F8 review I said this is the best supercar you can buy today and a lot of you were saying uh, you need to drive the 765 LT well I'm driving it now and I I am sticking to my statement I think as a supercar, the F8 is a bit more complete as, you know, you can drive that thing daily as well and it will be incredible. I feel like the F8 is a bit more polished as well. This is a lot more raw and everything happens very, very quickly. And it's an incredibly intense experience. Now, do I like, do I like that better than the Ferrari experience? Yes, sir, definitely. But I don't think that this car is as complete a supercar as the F8 is. So I do stick to my statement, but I would rather have this, obviously. This is incredible. Now, of course, we also measured the 100 to 200 performance. Bear in mind, 32 degrees outside temperature. And we did 4.4 seconds. 100 to 200, which is the fastest stock car we have tested. I mean, look at this thing. That is truly magnificent. The way this thing just keeps going. Outrageous. And then those brakes, man, oh man. <laughs> oh. Jesus, man. You have to be alert to drive this car. You really need to be on your toes. It, it is such a crazy experience. <laughs> so 
So what is my conclusion about this 765 LT? Well, it definitely is the most capable supercar you can buy today. Nothing else handles, feels, communicates like a McLaren. And if you add those hydraulically cross-linked dampers to the mix, which I've got in comfort right now, they soak up everything. But the car does not lose any of that feedback. It still talks to you. It's, it's saying to you everything that's happening. here I have to break for those oh my god absolute motors thank you so much for sharing this car with us for sharing this experience with us this has been absolutely magic I am in love with this car wow 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 that is pretty damn insane so that's it for this review guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, it is 10 past 5 in the afternoon and I just did this run. I mean, I love this place. I absolutely love it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, go check out Absolute Motors on Instagram. Uh, they do incredible projects, so make sure you follow them on Instagram because yeah, th those cars are pretty damn epic. If you want to watch another video, you can check out this one on the right. Uh, this playlist of reviews on the left. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and Absolute Motors channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.